Hey y'all, welcome to Amazon World. I know. Don't mind me. <laughs> you know, y'all, I'm always in this house this Saturday. I don't do my hair like I used to, but not with the baby and stuff. I'll be exhausted, but that'll come. Believe you me. So, listen, I was looking at my old videos, and when I first started my weight loss journey, it was in 2017. Uh, my currently now she's two by the time she was nine months and I had began to do uh, intermittent fasting and working out going to the gym she was older by then even though I was still breastfeeding her uh, I was able to leave her for a little bit because she was eating you know more foods and whatnot and so my husband aka my balance I like to call him that because that's what he is to me um, he was able to have her more you know with the rest of the children so I said it to say I was looking at that and I was just yeah, like, man, look at the difference. Like it was just self motivating and it really encouraged me to keep pushing because like as of lately I have not been able to. Well, I'm about to tell a lie. I finally worked out for the first time. It's been two days now um, since I have my newest addition. Uh, she's seven months and so I had nerve damage. Um, she tore me up, y'all, <laughs> when I gave birth to her. I had her and my two-year-old naturally and whatnot. And, um, and when I say natural, I mean, like, with no, uh, I mean, vaginal, no drugs, no nothing. And my husband actually delivered them. But that'll be another story. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want to hear it. Whether you do or not, I am going to share it at some point because I keep telling him I want to do it with him. So we can always keep that in our memory bank as well. Because, like I said, I do a lot of these videos for us. Um, you know to look back and everything so yeah so there's that so when I was looking I was like oh man I just can't wait to work out again I can't wait to do IF because IF is intermittent fasting and it, it didn't affect my breast milk at the time because she was nine months at that point so she was eating more and whatnot so I think I'm gonna go heavy more with that uh, later on too I do it a little bit here and there unintentionally though I think that's more so because of the habit and whatnot but anyway, I was looking at all my other videos and stuff, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I was doing so good. I can't wait to get back to that um, because, of course, we ended up pregnant with our youngest baby. Uh, we found out, um, I think at the time, our daughter had to have been, I don't even remember. She was, she was like, I don't know, maybe turning one, just turn one or something because I know I didn't stop nursing her until 17 months because, um, you know, just everything with the pregnancy and whatnot. So, nonetheless, let's just say I gave up on a, that journey. Which is crazy because I end up losing weight. Like, around that time, I was like 215, 211. Like, I kept bouncing in between. But when I was pregnant with my uh, newest edition, our newest edition here, I actually lost weight not even trying. I went down to 198. Go figure, right? While I'm pregnant, knowing I'm going to just gain weight back. <laughs> But I did, and it was just like, oh, okay, that's what's up. But I, it looking at my old videos just really encouraged me a lot. It encouraged me because I look even more refreshed. I look, my hair was constantly done and everything, and it was just a reminder that I'm going to be back to that person soon. You know, I just got to hang in there, and the baby is starting to, like, right now, she's with her dad. Usually, she's always with me. So that's a huge, great sign for me. She's definitely... Um, growing and whatnot and he you know is getting her and whatever but so soon enough I'll be together but looking at those videos just really motivated me hearing my words hearing everything that I said encouraging others and myself it was encouraging for me sometimes we just have to motivate ourselves and you know we are best friends you know so you got to just talk to yourself and that's why I do these videos and, you know, to look back and see where I've started from, see where I've gone, see where I'm going, you know. So, um, I just want to say, always encourage yourself, stay motivated, and check out my older videos, too. I mean, it was only in 2017 when I so it's not too, too old, but it's old enough. Like I said, I ended up pregnant and everything, so everything went to a halt. But, um, go take a look at those and, you know, maybe, hopefully it's encouraging you as well as it did me. And I can't wait to get back on it, y'all. But that workout, my first workout since the nerve damage, I mean, I didn't hurt too bad. It hurt a little bit, but not as bad as it once was when I, the first few months that I had my daughter and whatnot. Um, 
But it was really nice to just do that. And I only did a seven minute challenge. Like I'm easing myself back up into it. If you can see up there, there are my steps. I actually make it a point to go up and down them steps a lot throughout the day uh, and whatnot. So yeah, try that seven minute uh, challenge, workout challenge. I forget the lady's name, but it is on YouTube that I've seen her. And it wasn't too hard on me. Uh, soon I'll be going into my workout videos, hopefully, um, once I see and let my body get back in the rhythm of things and know that it's not, you know, my back isn't going to bother me and my freaking nerves and my legs aren't going to go out on me because <laughs> that's what was happening. It was scary. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know where I'm at right now in my mind and that I actually worked out for two days straight just doing that and so far so good and I'm pretty excited. Uh, so yeah. Stay encouraged, keep pushing, stay motivated, and no matter what your journey, you know, comes up in your journey, just keep pushing. You'll be fine. Love you guys. Check out my old videos. Much peace and love.